Hi everyone, welcome back to another Dixieland tutorial. In the introduction part, we discussed about how to use the Power Factory environment and also got familiar with some basic features of the software. In this tutorial, I will show you how to create the tutorial project, which is the first step in designing a new power system. So let us get started. To create a new project in your user folder, firstly you should open the file menu that is on the main menu bar. Then select the new option and click on project. You will get a dialog box like this, name your project. Let us enter the name of our project as tutorial exercise 1. Then click the OK button. Your project must have at least one grid folder where a power subsystem is defined. So a grid folder is created automatically and it is edit dialog will pop up like this. Let's set the name of the grid to part 1. The nominal frequency is already defined. No need to change. If it is not defined for you, you should set the frequency as 50 Hz because the power factory system is designed for 50 Hz. Then click OK. In the left side, as you see, the new grid part 1 is created in the project. By left clicking on your mouse, you can edit it. When you create a new project, and currently active project is deactivated. If you want to activate again, you should deactivate your new project. This is the study case folder and is used to activate the grid and to perform calculation for it. When you creating a new project, a new study case will activate automatically, which looks something like this. If you want to rename the study case, right click on your mouse and click on edit. The edit dialog will appear like this. Let's change the name to case 1. To set the study time, click on this button. To set the current computer date and time for the study case, press the button date and time. Then click OK. Then again click OK to save the setting for the study case. Now you can create your project here. From the introduction video tutorial, we know that the Xilin doesn't have any option for saving. Instead, we should export our project. From file, we can export our project in different format, such as data, PDF, DZ, DGS format, PCC syncall, and the other formats. You can also import any other projects in different format from here. If you want to work on, or bring some change to that. These are the main menu parts and each of them has several toolbox that can be used in a project. You will get used to each of them by practicing and doing exercise. In the next video, I will work on how to create a power system elements. I hope it was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.